Hey, good morning, everyone. We are on our drive from Newton to the Iowa Capitol, heading down I-80. Christy's in the back seat. Got Bryce driving today. He's heading up to the Capitol to do some homework and hang out with us a bit. Just wanted to give you a couple of updates and really wanted to focus a little bit of my discussion this morning on biofuels and ethanol. You've been reading about it in the paper. You know that the governor's come out with a plan uh, to make E15 more accessible uh, to the consumers, to really provide the opportunity for us to really become not only the leader in corn production, but also the leader when it comes to biofuels and ethanol. As I think about this discussion, here's what's on my mind. One of the things I've always learned in life is that context helps us define uh, what we're talking about. And, and so if you really want to understand what the definition of the word trunk, T-R-U-N-K is, you'd have to look at the context, how it's used in a sentence to understand what kind of trunk we're talking about. When it comes to biofuels and ethanol and the governor's plan, I think context matters. Here's the context that I place this discussion in. Number one, ethanol biofuels is part of an all above strategy to create energy independence and to protect the environment. Um, we're looking, we not only need wind and solar and natural gas, we need ethanol and biofuels we need electric vehicles, we need to have an all of the above strategy to protect our environment and to create energy independence in the US. Number two, let's place it in context. Do you realize that if you took the most aggressive and optimistic estimates uh, for electric vehicles in the US, that liquid carbon fuel cars would still comprise 40% of the light vehicle market by 2040. Uh, and so we need to have a solution for liquid carbon fuels that's cleaner and as well um, helps create energy independence and that is really found in ethanol and biofuels. Number three, my assessment as someone who has uh, been uh, done things in the energy sector for a while, Ethanol and biofuels are unfairly judged by the renewable energy advocates. Let's remember, I don't recall anywhere that an electric vehicle has a, a CI rating, a carbon intensity rating. Uh, and so when you take a look at ethanol, who has to meet these measurements from what the farmer does and putting that corn in the field up until harvest and transporting it, they get a carbon rating. We don't do that for electric vehicles. And so I think there's a finger unfairly on the scale uh, against uh, uh, biofuels. Uh, number uh, four, bottom line is biofuels, ethanol is good for the American farmer and it's good for the Iowa economy. It's important here in Iowa. Since we're a leader uh, in corn production, we need to become the leader in promoting this renewable energy source. Uh, number five, keep in mind, and you may not understand this, but Google it. Ethanol has a 50% of the carbon intensity rating of a gallon of gas. And there are significant technological improvements happening in ethanol. In fact, experts believe today that that number is anticipated to decline and that we could be reaching by 2040 a 0% um, uh, carbon intensity when it comes to ethanol. Now all forms of renewable energy, also number six, are given significant advantages for investment. All I'm asking for in the context in which I place the governor's plan is simply this. Iowa needs to take a lead in advocating for ethanol's uh, advantages. And so as I'm looking at the governor's bill, as hopefully we'll get into some discussion, as I'm promoting the governor's bill about E15 and biofuels and, and what we're doing also in biodiesel, I really believe that ultimately we need to speak up and make sure that we're providing good solutions to not only save Iowans money, promote our economy, protect our environment, 
and also continue to invest in our agricultural economy. Hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't hesitate to post them. And uh, you know you can reach me by email or phone. Thank you and have a great day.